Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckery Designs. This week I am playing with It's a Science, a really fun set from our annual catalog. Um, I love this set and couldn't wait to start playing with it. My first project is a gift card holder. Holds a gift card right there. I'm going to show you how I made these um, little glasses, beakers, um, containers, if you will, shiny. It looks like they have liquid in them. It's pretty simple. All right, so the first thing we are gonna do are those little, cute little science beakers. I am gonna stamp them in Memento Black on basic white. And then I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends to cut them out, or to color them. And then we'll just use paper snips to cut them out. All right, we'll start with um, Parakeet Party Light. And I'm gonna start and just kind of Put it at an angle at the top, like it's kind of sloshing around. And we'll go all the way around. And then we'll take the dark and we'll just make a layer. So we've got like a darker layer. Let's see, let me use my other end. The brush tip's not working too well. We'll add just a darker layer here so that it kind of is darker on the bottom, lighter on the top. There we go, not sure what's going on. Looks like maybe my marker's drying out. There we go, all right. Next, we'll use Poppy Parade. Now, the colors that I chose are colors that are used in the designer series paper. Merry and Bright is the DSP that I'm using. It's actually a sneak peek from our upcoming 2023 fall holiday catalog and it's uh, paper that goes with a Christmas set, but it is definitely not Christmas specific. Um, it is bright and cheery, and that is my favorite kind of paper. So I am using colors that are used in that paper, and I'll give you a little sneak peek of it here in just a second. All right, so we've got that. I got all the lines a little bit, but because we're cutting them out with our scissors, we don't have to worry too much about that. All right, next we're gonna use Blueberry Bushel. Another color in the Designer Series paper. Do light and then we'll do a dark kind of down the bottom half. Looks kind of like the liquids have separated. And then last we'll do Daffodil Delight. And one more layer. And I kind of don't, I kind of want it, not like a straight line, like it's kind of, I don't know, maybe you sloshing or bubbling or something. All right, now once you have those colored, you're gonna get our fine tip glue pen. And I'm gonna put a solid layer of glue on these um, images. Now you're gonna to need to give yourself probably half an hour to let these dry, depending on how thick you go with your glue. And I usually go pretty thick just because I am heavy handed and that's how I do things. So you'll need to give it some time and you wanna make sure that all the spots are filled in. You can kind of take the tip and brush it around, get all those little spots filled in, all right? Now I brushed it off a little bit because it will pick up some of that color. So before you switch over, just kind of brush it off. And uh, don't squeeze too, too hard because it does come out pretty fast. I like to kind of go around the edges and create a barrier and then just fill in the middle. All right, and then the, the hardest part of this really is putting it somewhere where you don't mess it up. I always end up setting something down on it before it's dry. So walk it across the room, put it in a window seal somewhere so that it will dry without getting smashed. Now, of course, for the sake of the video, I have done this ahead of time. I'll set this one over in my window seal over here, use it on a different project. 
and I used my um, paper snips just to cut around the edges. And because that glue kind of gives you a raised edge, it actually makes it really a lot easier to cut. So now we're gonna layer them on. I have cut a blueberry bushel um, scalloped rectangle. These are from the contour scallop dies. It's the second largest. And then I'm using a piece of the something eclectic paper. This isn't the Mary and Bright. This is the something eclectic. And then I cut just a narrow strip of basic black to kind of serve as the shelf for our science equipment. And we'll put that right there. And then of course we'll use some dimensionals to layer these on here. We got a rogue back stuck in there, there we go. And we'll put that one right there. And I kind of have them overlapping a little bit. That one can go right there. Let's see, maybe I need to move them down a bit. There we go. And then for the test tube, you're gonna need some uh, mini dimensionals because it's pretty narrow. And if you're like me and you have fingernails, you'll need to get your, take your pick tool to get those little backings off. They are tricky. All right, and we'll put that one right there. All right, for the sentiment, now normally I say stamp first, cut second, but for the sake of the video, I did it the other, the opposite way. So let's see if I can get this on here straight. This is a stylish shape stitched banner. Not too bad, not perfect, but Good enough. If you wanna make sure you get it centered, of course you're gonna to want to stamp and then put your die around it so that it's centered perfectly. All right, now I'm using another sneak peek pro uh, product. These are our discs, flat adhesive backed discs, and they are with that Marion Bright paper that I'm, I am gonna show you in a second. And I thought these made great little like bubbles. They look like, you know, maybe some bubbling things were bubbling around the science lab. And you can just add them all around. Let's put one more right there. All right, now let's put our card together and I'm gonna show you this paper that I've been talking about. It's called Mary and Bright. And if it has the word bright in it, I know I'm gonna love it. So it does have some specific Christmas, like the lights, um, but it also has just polka dots and stripes, big bold stripes. This one has polka dots. This one says follow la 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 on the backs, rainbow stripes, stars, more polka dots. Those are like little Christmas hats, more stripes, and then Christmas trees. So this is a paper definitely I'll be using at Christmas, but I'll definitely be using it at other times as well. All right, for our card base, I have taken a four and a fourth by 11 piece of um, Daffodil Delight. And I actually cut, um, well, first I scored it at two and three fourths and five and a half. And then over here on this edge, I cut off a quarter of an inch. That's gonna make it a little bit shallow right here so that I can take my circle punch, which is right here, to make our gift card holder. And I'm just gonna punch out like a, a quarter circle and that is my two and three eighths inch circle punch and then we'll take some tear and tape and put it right there on that edge we're gonna make a little pocket for our gift card I don't know about you guys but I can never have enough gift card holders I have teenagers and they only want to give their friends gift cards or money we don't ever want to buy a present, so I always need gift card holders. All right, let's make sure that is 
fold it over in the right way so that it's in half. There we go, like that, okay? So that creates that little pocket. Mine's not flat because I laid it down too soon. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. All right, for the inside, I'm gonna take some grid paper, put it down and grab this little stamp and I'm just gonna kind of stamp and stamp off. Well, stamp and then stamp again. So we have lighter shades and darker shades. All right. And you wanna turn your stamp so it's not all the same each time. There we go. All right, and then I have a piece of basic white to go on the inside. This is where you will put your message, your birthday message. And then up here in the front is where I'm gonna put my designer series paper, the Merry and Bright paper that I was talking about. I'll put that right there. And then we're gonna take this and let's use dimensionals. I always like to use dimensionals. And we'll put, we wanna put those dimensionals on the left side. And we'll lay that down so that it's centered right there on that basic white paper. And there you have it, a really cute gift card holder um, that is shiny and sparkly. And it looks like it has real liquid inside the beakers. I think that really makes it fun. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop back over to my blog. Let me know if you have questions. Grab that free PDF that has the measurements and the supply list and have fun stamping. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.